What's up guys? So today we are putting some spark plugs on the R, not the R, the Lexus NGK. So we try to do that. So I'll show you how. This is my basic bitch. So basically you got to take out the harness, the wires and all that stuff. Uh, take the intake out and we'll get to it. Okay, so since I'm just a one man team, I'm just going to take out the harness show you what I'm gonna take out. So I'm gonna take this out. I think I gotta take this out. And some wires right here. Take this wire out. Take this out. And I believe I gotta take this hose out. Take this uh, plug out too. And then we're gonna take out this spacer right here in the intake. And then we're gonna disconnect the throttle cable. Uh, it's pretty much simple. I gotta disconnect this, I think. I don't think I have to. And then take this hose out, the clamps. So it should be easy. Okay, so after you remove this out, we're gonna remove this because we actually gotta do a valve cover gasket install on the 2J. And then, so there's this nut, this nut, this nut, this nut. And there's a nut here. And there's a nut hidden right down there. And we're gonna try to get that out. Okay, so basically the hidden nut was right here. So it's this one. Uh, you gotta take this thing out. Um, yeah, I gotta leak. I gotta do valve covers. And then other than that, it should be easy. Okay, so basically these bolts right here, they're like, I think a 12, they're all the 12. And a lot of these bolts were like 12s. Um, it's pretty simple. I'm using a lot of power tools just because I'm at work right now, so. I'm gonna try to get this done, show you guys how to do it. So this is my first time messing with a 2JZ GE motor. So I'm gonna try to learn and hopefully you guys learn too. Okay, so the next step is letting these harness go. So basically there's gonna be a 10 mil right there and a 10 mil right here where my finger's at. And then you gotta un get all these tabs disconnected to the harness that's in the middle. And after that, you just gotta get the spark plug wire coils, and then you gotta get the uh, ignition coil out of there. So I'm gonna try to do it since I'm only a one-man team right now, and then hopefully it's pretty simple. Okay, so basically right after you get this whole wiring harness situated, I still, I'm still having a hard time, but you know what, I'm gonna say fuck it. Uh, you gotta take out these little bolts right here that holds down the valve cover. They're a 10 mil. So like I said, I'm using power tools. Um, it's pretty dirty because uh, I got oil in the spark plug cylinders. So I'm gonna try to get that off and try to put new plugs on and yeah. Okay, so I already did the one side for the valve cover gasket. And after this, I'm gonna do my spark plugs and I'm gonna clean that area. And this is the spark, not the spark plug, just the other side of the valve cover. And then I'm going to show you guys first, I'm going to clean it with brake cleaner. Get your brake cleaner. Spray. You want it as clean as you want, I'm, I want it as clean as I want. So, try to get this done. And then, uh, out of that, I'm going to show you guys. I know you guys won't have the tools that I'm using. I'll be using a coolant suction thing to suck out all the oil that's in the spark plug area and then after that I'm gonna spray this area right here with bright cleaner and just wipe it off and probably use that coolant suction thing again okay so basically how I did this to get the gasket off I basically use a flathead and kind of get it pried out uh, it's kind of a challenge not really but that's a challenge for me because I'm doing this with one hand. Uh, damn. There you go. I don't give a damn if it breaks. Uh, I sprayed this whole cylinder with brake cleaner. So, yeah. And then I got OEM, Toyota. Got a cover gasket for this bitch. So, I'm trying to make sure everything's good. And, and then, uh. I'm gonna try to install this, and it's pretty much simple. Um, it's very, it's, yeah, it's very simple. So I'm gonna get this thing started, and uh, yep.
Okay, so I'll finish the valve cover and spark plugs. I started it up earlier. Boy, this thing sounded good because it was misfiring and stuff like that. So I'm just picking up my shit right now. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna... I, I still gotta work for a couple more hours and then, uh, probably gonna end the video and let you guys hear the car later on. So, we're probably gonna go there. And I don't know why I was so close to the camera. But, I'll see you in the next clip. Damn, check engine light's still on there, bro. What the fuck?